Hello everyone and welcome back to Westeros Craft Walks. I'm your host Kobe. And I'm Lucia. And today we will be having a look at uh, two places, Brindlewood and Cargill. They're two separate places, I believe. I don't think they're they're connected canon-wise. But on our server they're right next to each other. And they're both small builds, so it makes sense to, to do them in one episode instead of like two really short episodes. But as you might have noticed, we are walking from Hayford, where we went uh, last episode, uh, going towards the King Bro King's Road. Um, so we, we will be having mostly a look at the surrounding lands, because there's not really that much building. Uh, we'll see some buildings at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, you can see pastures, windmills. Lucia is not ve feeling very well, so... I don't think she'll talk a lot in the video. I'm just continuously in a somewhat state of being ill. Mm -hmm. So we've, we've reached the King's Road, we're going north. But we'll also come across a camp. I think it is... I wasn't sure. I think it was marked as a bricklayer as well on here, but it might... This might run here is just brick sitting. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you can see some red clay, but uh, some camps as well here. Not sure if it is a bricklayer, but uh, yeah, this just seems like a. It might have, it might be a bricklaying complex now used like for people to camp in. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's it's quite a long road, so uh, there's a lot of of walking in this video. But we can admire the surrounding lands. You can see more windmills. I really like the windmills on the server. Yeah. And uh, oh, oh yeah, over there is that little tower where we ended last episode, so you can kind of reference where we are from there, because we could kind of see the King's Road. AKA in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're just north of the sprawl of King's Landing, so I think that this is also governed by King's Landing, uh, uh, kind of like an overview over there. You can see uh, the village in the distance. You get people like the, the sky shots. So. Yeah, I used to like it when you used to start the video by you up really high and then you flew down to the spot when the video started. Oh yeah, from the map, yeah. Like the good old days. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was trying out some stuff but I, I didn't know it worked that well. I couldn't get the animations quite right, I don't think. Uh, yeah, little little cottage here. For the farmers, you can also see... Um, is that... Oh, I think that those were just some trees, but uh, there, yeah, here you can, for example, see there are still some King's Landing fortifications. For example, Bell Tower. Later we will also see um, another little fort uh, to the right over there. But um, here is Brindlewood. Uh, it is a canon location from the books, even though it's not much more than that. It's just mentioned as being a little village um, outside of King, like near King's Landing in the Crown Lands, and I think it was in the later books that, uh, that I think uh, some people from the books just go passing through here, and that's about all for the lore of Brindlewood. It's, it's just a little village. They have a nice inn over there, though. We'll have a look in there. You got any comments, Richie? I'm just gonna get uh, some more information about Cargill out. Mm. Here's an inn. It's quite interesting though that they do actually have the inn sign for a building like this because most of the time they have they only tend to use profession signs in major cities. But I guess the inn is the like a the, it's like a, it's like yeah. one one of the only signs that you see used outside of a major city. Because it could just be a fancy house, you don't want to just walk up to someone's house and be like, I want to stay! And they're like, who are you? Go away. But yeah, apart from that, uh, the signs for things like butchers, um, I'm trying to think of ones I saw yesterday, bookbinder, that's one I have to, oh, you don't yeah. see a lot. Um, they only tend to get used in major ci <clears throat> sorry, in major cities. Yeah, because most people, like, um, I guess they don't really need bookbinding in the... In the like villages. What do you mean? You have Brick City? This is Bookbinding City. <laughs> yeah. So we have uh, smaller uh, smaller houses. 
uh, bigger houses here as well. Oh my god, they could have a house and their words could be like, instead of we sew, it could be like, we bind books. Yeah. Or just we bind. We bind, yeah. But then people might be like, bind what? Like, every time you say it, you got to explain it. <laughs> Books. <laughs> yeah. So here, here we've got some silos from like the surrounding fields. They have some stores, and in the distance to the right, you can see the Cargill Keep. I think I think that's how you pronounce it, Cargill. I think so. Yeah, we we got some history. Um, the the house house Cargill is extinct. It went extinct sometime after uh, two hundred nine uh, after conquest. Um, we don't know exactly when, but we do know it was still uh, the house was still in existence at the tourney of Ashford because uh, there was a member there uh, who was it? And that's so, how the house died out. He got killed. <laughs> not that's not canon. That's uh, Lucia makes <laughs> her own canon. Uh, so that's uh, Sir Clarence Cargill participated in the tourney of uh, Ashford to in, in 209, 209 BC uh, AC. Um, well, I guess well, a house like this, it would be um, kind of controlled by whoever's the king at the time or whoever's mm -hmm. in charge of the area. And seeing this is in the Crownlands, it would fall to whoever would be the king at the time. Yeah. So a good thing about this is that I guess if you have a new minor lord who carries a lot of favour, you can just be like, well, now you're in charge of oh, yeah. this house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah we're, we're walking like down the king, like north of the king's road. I think I actually missed the passage to go to the keep, so I kind of skipped through the hedges. This, this is just uh, the king's road that goes all the way north. But I mean, if you think about it, actually strategically, the 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 king would want to have a good, trustworthy family in this house because it's along the king's road not far from king's mm -hmm. landing so this would be like one of the first or one of the last i guess port of calls for like warnings before mm -hmm. something was to happen if they came down the king's road yeah so most armies would probably just come down um like through blackwater bay yeah i guess because so. it's easier to transport people via ship mm -hmm. but then it's also slightly more dangerous because if you set fire to that ship the whole army's gone down mm -hmm. Also, the coat of arms is a duck. You'll see it on screen right now. Mm -hmm. It's a nice duck. And then they ate all the ducks. <laughs> so we also have a little bit more history. Do you want to mm. go over the brothers, mm. the twin brothers, the tragic no, story? No, it's so sad. Okay, I'll, I'll go over it. So you had Sir Arak and Sir Eric, uh, spelled weirdly, uh, Cargill. They were famous members of the King's Guards, both of them. They were twin brothers. Um, and one moment, I think. Oh, yeah, and um, it was during the Dance of the Dragons, but both twin brothers chose opposite sides. So, one of the brothers, um, let's see, Arak, 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 this is spelled weirdly, yeah, like usual in, in the Song of Ice and Fire, uh, supported Aegon, and the other supported uh, Rhaenyra, and the twins actually slew each other in battle during the war. So yeah, it's quite sad. Um, but look in the comments ending. for someone with their name spelled like that being like, it's not weird. It seems almost like Dutch to me. The, oh no, it, it's, it's kind of it's But you know that type weird. of like, that when you see funny spelling. Oh. <laughs> Sorry to everyone, everyone in the Netherlands. Yeah. They're going to be like, oh my god, the is cancelled. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So. <clears throat> We, for the next poll, we might be able to go, um, you see some surrounding nuts, but we might go north. Well, we are go going to... <coughs> oh, making Kobe it. sick. <laughs> so we'll be going north. Yeah, here is a map. Look, we're here at the moment, so we can go north along the King's Road. Uh, Pile is not finished yet, so that's the next place, but we won't see it because it's not finished. So we can go to Ivy Inn. That's one of the options. Or we can go right away from the King's Road and go to, I think it's called Birch. I don't know how. It's like Birch. I don't know how it's pronounced. Like Birch with a Y. Okay. So yeah, that was it for this episode. A smaller episode. Um, yeah, a few. We'll see more smaller episodes uh, like around this time. We, we have a lot of small places here. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.